Hey everybody, my name is Dan McClellan. I'm a public scholar of the Bible and religion, and I try to increase the public's access to the academic study of the Bible and religion, and also combat the spread of misinformation about the same. So let's take a look at a video. Can I prove God exists? Well, we're going to discuss three of the Bible prophecies that are being fulfilled right now. All right, let's see it. Revelation 16:12 reads, The sixth angel poured out his bull on the great river Euphrates, and it dried up. This is what it looks like today. So that's not what the Euphrates looks like today. To begin, this photo is from almost two and a half years ago, and only shows one segment of the Euphrates River, which is not completely dry. Additionally, this is not the first time this has happened. Water levels became dangerously low back in 2009 as well. In fact, a lot of the photographs that are being shown, particularly of these exposed uh, tombs and caverns, come from 2009, not the last couple of years. And this also has nothing to do with biblical prophecy. This is the product of climate change, as well as the dams that are being constructed up and down this river, particularly in Turkey and Syria where more and more water is being diverted from the river. And this is impacting the lives of millions of people who rely on this water for their livelihoods and to stay alive. And so rather than so callously treating this as some kind of spectacle, some kind of front row seat to the end of the world, we could actually be concerned for the folks whose lives are deleteriously impacted by this. Revelation 8 verse 8 reads, The second angel blew his trumpet, and something like a huge mountain of fire was thrown into the sea, and a third of the sea became blood. This is what it looks like in Russia and France right now. Neither country looks like this today. These are two specific rivers. The river in France is called the Gardon, and this happened in 2017, where scientists dumped 33 pounds of a powdered dye into the river because they were studying where the river's water was ending up. So that was intentional and it was temporary. Uh, the river in Russia, that was from 2016, and that was the result of a chemical spill at the Norilsk Nickel Company uh, in the Siberian Arctic. And that has since been cleaned up, although something similar has happened more recently in Russia. None of this has anything whatsoever to do with biblical prophecy. Luke 21 verse 11 says there will be great earthquakes and in various places famines and pestilences. There will be terrors and great signs from heaven. And all of a sudden things like this started happening. The last time a hurricane hit California was in 1939. First a fire in Hawaii, now a hurricane in California. What is happening to America? Footage coming out of Palm Springs, California shows cars, trees, and even houses being swept away in massive floods on the streets. Violent weather, disease, and natural disasters have been on this earth for as long as humans have. And we are actually in a period of lower occurrence of these kinds of things, apart from those things that are caused by climate change, which is something that we are causing. And again, this has absolutely nothing to do with biblical prophecy. This has to do with an abhorrent refusal to deal with the consequences of our own excesses.